Hi everyone, my name is Miss Ashley from Fibo Kids Art Academy and today we're going to be painting with bubbles. So let's go ahead and get started with prepping our bubble mixture and then we'll start with our painting. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we have a few of these um, plastic cups to pour our bubble liquid into. I also have this bubble liquid right here, so make sure that's really important to have that or we won't be able to blow those bubbles. You also need some food dye. And another optional thing is to have some um, liquid dish soap. So I just put a little bit in here just because I didn't need a whole lot of it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pour some of that bubble liquid into our cup. Now, depending on how many colors that you have of your food colors, um, or food coloring, I should say, um, is how many cups you're going to need. Or you can try and mix some of those colors as well. Now, we've got a bubble right there. You want to pour that bubble liquid mixture into a cup. Now, you don't need a whole, whole lot. Um, I will say, though, the more food coloring you do use for this step, um, the brighter your colors are going to be. So don't be afraid to use too many or too much um, food coloring. So I'm going to take my food coloring and I'm going to take my blue. And I'm just going to dip it into my mixture. And again, the more food coloring you use, the brighter those colors are going to be. then you're going to want to stir it. It's pretty vibrant blue. Now when doing this, I find that um, I want it to be a little bit more frothy, bubbly, which is one reason why I like to add dish soap into um, that mixture as well. Again, that's optional. You don't have to do that. But again, I find that it just makes it a little bit more bubbly. That way you get some of these smaller bubbles as well. And you're going to be doing this with all of your colors because the more colors that you use for your picture, the more brighter and colorful it's going to be. I'm going to make sure to just clean my area though before I get started on my picture. So do make sure that you create all of your bubble mixtures. I've created an orange right here by mixing um, red and yellow. I also have green right here, I have yellow, and I also have red. I'm just going to stick with those colors today, but if you have other um, food coloring colors that you'd like to use, go ahead and create your mixture. Again, it's very easy. All you need to do is just get your bubble liquid, pour it into a cup, add as many drops of food dye as you would like, and then optional, you can add the dish soap to make it a little bit more bubbly. But make sure you create all of those colors before you get started with our project. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this area and get ready for our bubble picture. So I will see you in just a short bit. All right, so here is my um, paper that I'm going to be using to blow those bubbles on. Now, most bottles of bubble solution should come with a wand. If not, just make sure you do have one of those. And again, as I said, er, said earlier, uh, the more food coloring that you have in your picture, or excuse me, your bubble liquid, um, the brighter it's going to be. So I'm just going to test these out real quickly to just make sure that they're nice and colorful. If not, I can always just add a little bit more. But I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to swirl my bubble wand into my bubble liquid. And I can blow those bubbles from far away or up close and just watch it as it falls on my paper. Now this is a really great summer activity to do outdoors with your children. And you can see that some of those bubbles are just splattering on. I think I need to add a little bit more um, food coloring, so I'm just going to do that real quickly. just to make sure that it's just a bit um, brighter in color. And just swirl that. And once it starts to dry, you can kind of start to see those bubble rings form. You can also pick up some of those bubbles and just place them on your paper. Just remember that it does take a while for these type of bubbles to dry. So that's why it's really important that you do these outside, do this type of project outside. 
which you can blow as many bubbles as you'd like. It's also nice too if you have a really big um, poster board or a big canvas. Let's try the green next. Get some big bubbles. That way we can get some more bubbles on that picture. Still think I need a little bit more food coloring in that green. So it's always nice to just test it out first. So I'm gonna use even more food coloring. Let's stir that up. And it may um, be hard to see on my screen, but you can start to see some of those rings form from those bubbles. I can then just place them on my paper as well with my bubble wand to create just even more bubbles. Now if you wanna switch a color, you can take a paper towel and clean off that bubble wand. Let's go ahead and try the orange. I'm just blowing those bubbles onto my paper. And how fun that those colors are starting to appear. I may need a little bit more bubble solution, or not bubble solution, excuse me, more food coloring. So that's what I'm gonna do. Don't be afraid to use too much of it. I always find it's nice to test them out first before um, blowing bubbles onto your picture. We, can ha we have a nice big bubble ring right there. But you can see that this nice colorful picture is starting to take shape. I also like the nice splatters right there too. I'm going to pick up some of those bubbles and just place them on my paper. But this is a really great summer activity to do outdoors with your kids. You can also get really big um, poster board and do this with them. I'm just going to go ahead and just keep blowing some bubbles and see how my picture turns out by the end. Because I really like the orange and blue as our Fibo colors. And again, if you find that maybe your bubbles aren't frothy or um, bubbly enough or frothy, always add that dish soap because that seems to help also. I'm gonna take some yellow and just kind of plop it on there. And you can get different um, bubble wand sizes as well. But have fun with your creation. Cause that's part of process art is where you just have fun with a the picture. There's no set plan on how it's going to turn out. And if it doesn't look as um, nice as you want it to, you can always try it again. I just love all the splatters that are happening on our picture. And those bubbles can start to connect together. You can try and blow big bubbles or small bubbles. You can get as close as you can to your paper to make even bigger bubbles or bigger areas. I find that if I get really close to the paper with my um, bubble wand, um, the color shows up just a little bit better. Let's try the red now. Red might be a little bit darker to see. I'm getting really close to my paper. And you can start to see those rings form. Awesome. This looks really nice. You can try and blow some big bubbles or keep a bubble right there. And see how that turns out. I'm going to just go to the side over here. Just create some nice big bubbles. So try blowing those bubbles um, close to your paper or far away just to see what type of um, 
um, picture or way it turns out, I should say. I'll go back to blue. I think my picture needs a little bit more blue. I'm going to get as close as I can. There we go. So you can start to see that it gets really, really um, textured. I'm going to get a bit close right here. You can try and blow those bubbles as close as you can or far away. And it's fun to watch them splatter and see how they appear. I'm going to move some of this to the side so I make sure not to um, splash that. And again, another reason why it's good to do this outside too is because food coloring is um, permanent. So you want to just be really careful. And make sure you're wearing clothes that you don't mind getting dirty. I'm going to get as close as I can to my picture and add that bubble. And dry and blow small bubbles. But I just love to see all these different splatters on our paper. I'm going to add some orange too. And I'll add some green. And yeah, you can do this for as long as you want or if you are done and you just kind of want to pick up some bubbles and just add it onto your paper too, uh, you can definitely do that. But I'm just going to take a moment to just add some more bubbles to my paper and then I'm going to dry it. You can either leave it outside for it to dry if you're not outside already or you can just leave it um, sitting aside because um, once it dries all these bubbles should pop and then you'll have a really pretty picture. So I'm just going to do some last finishing touches on this picture and then I'll show you the final result. All right, when your picture is dry, it should look something like this. Hopefully it doesn't look exactly like mine um, because again, that's the part of um, the process art um, pictures is that you don't know how it's gonna turn out in the end. Uh, you may have used more reds or more greens, um, but just make sure that when you are done, you take your beautiful image and you can remove that tape from it if you did tape it down. And did get a little bit outside of those cracks with that or the border, but that's okay. Most importantly though, if you did do this inside, make sure to clean your table as best as you can so that nothing stains. Because again, we did use some food dye, which um, is permanent. But look how beautiful that this turned out. I love the different splatters. Um, all the big chunks of bubbles did move a little bit to the side, but what a beautiful picture that we have right here. Kind of reminds me of candy. When you are done, just make sure that you get either a wet wipe or um, a wet paper towel with soap and just make sure to clean your area as best as you can because again, uh, food coloring will stain if you don't take care of it right away. But this is my picture that I created today. Um, please share your picture if you decided to follow along with me. I would love to see what you came up with using bubbles and food or food coloring. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a lot of fun. I actually really like this. Um, I think it just turned out so beautiful. Uh, please post your pictures that you created online, either on Instagram or on Twitter or Bebo Village page on Facebook. I would love to see what you came up with using our bubble method. So, and we'll see you next time at Bebo Kids Art Academy. Bye.